We do not often witness them in action, but be sure, at any given moment, somewhere in the world first responders are risking their lives. They make sure that others are saved, property is protected, and order is maintained. In today's episode, we would like to acknowledge the hard work of firefighters, search and rescue personnel, and law enforcement officers by demonstrating a lineup of the coolest new first responder vehicles. These modern machines were designed to protect their lives and make their jobs just a little bit less risky and easier. So subscribe to Automotive Territory and enjoy the ride! Torsus Terra Storm Today even buses ought to be off-road capable, and as per Torsus, they make the world's toughest heavy-duty models. In business since 2016, this international manufacturer is headquartered in Czech Republic, owns a dedicated plant in Slovakia, but has its roots going back to Ukraine. Their latest model is an all-new minibus based on the VW Crafter or MANTG chassis with a 177 HP 2.0-liter by turbo diesel 4-cylinder and 4x4 drive. It is offered in two general use modifications, cargo and coach, and two task-specific models for medical services and mining. The rescue ambulance configuration is equipped with the Bilstein B6 shocks up front, Pro Fender Dakar rear shocks, R17 or R16 rims with all-terrain tires. The Terra Storm rides 11.4 inches above the ground, can ford 27-inch creeks, and has all-around body and chassis protection. On the inside, the Storsis is a practical ambulance with ABS interior, LED lighting, and an off-road stretcher by Ferno. Jet Suit by Gravity Industries People often refer to Elon Musk as a Tony Stark of the real world, but it is Richard Browning who has gotten the closest to becoming an actual Iron Man. The founder of the UK Gravity Industries and his team have developed the jet suit that is already being considered by the NATO allies for the search and rescue applications. In total, the flying pack is powered by five gas turbine engines, generating 1,050 horsepower and 318 pounds of thrust. The flight range is restricted to 3 miles, and the flight endurance will not exceed 6 minutes. These limitations, though, are compensated by the speed and agility of the aircraft. As it was demonstrated at the NATO Mountain Warfare Rescue Exercise, the gravity jetpack might be indispensable in providing medical aid to the stranded personnel. It can reach 85 miles per hour, can fly at the altitudes of 12,000 feet, and requires a minimum footprint to land. Rosin Power Panther 8x8 Offered in 4x4, 6x6, and 8x8 versions, the Panther by the Austrian Rosin Power is one of the world's best known airport fire trucks, and it even got itself a feature in the Transformers franchise. The 8x8 version of the model relies on the modular body design concept with the laser cut, bent aluminum sheets, and plastic linings, features coach type door with electric windows, and comes equipped with disc brakes. The vehicle has an operating weight of 88,000 pounds, which equals to 40 tons. Despite this massive figure, it can still accelerate to 15 pH in 23 seconds and can reach the maximum speed of 80 miles per hour. This is made possible by two Volvo D16 diesel engines with 16.1 liter displacement and a total capacity of 1500 horses. The truck can carry over 5000 gallons of extinguishing materials, which include water, foam, and powder. Plus, the resin power design pump is rated for 2600 gallons of output per minute. Lanco Advanced Rescue Med Evac G3 The Massachusetts-based manufacturer of multi-purpose armored vehicles continues to develop its first responders' direction. Sharing many features with the long-proven Bearcat, the Med Evac G3 is underpinned by the reinforced Ford F550 chassis with an upgraded off-road suspension, special rims, and huge 41-inch tires. The G3 is capable of fording 40-inch deep waters, climbing 60-degree hills, and resisting 40,000 pounds of impact. There will be no surprise under the hood. 
As Lanco continues to trust Ford's 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel, the latest generation of which delivers 475 horsepower and 1,050 pound feet of torque. The Met Evac G3 also comes standard with an electric winch, armored windows, low profile LED flat lights, and an integrated storage. On the inside, it can be optioned to the lit workstation, two emergency litters, and oxygen tanks. Sherp Rescue Originally, Sherp gained popularity as a fun off-roader that kick-started a whole new class of amphibious all-terrain vehicles. However, sooner or later, it was destined to be spotted by the search and rescue professionals who could direct its potential onto saving lives. Headquartered in Kiev, Ukraine, Quadra International equipped the ATV with a reliable and low-maintenance Japanese 1.5-liter Kubota diesel engine that develops 43 horsepower and has extremely low fuel consumption of less than one gallon per an hour of operation. The share prides on massive low-pressure self-inflating tires that ensure 24 inches of clearance and 35-degree hill climbing gradient. The all-aluminum body has thermal, noise and water insulation, so it can reach the most remote locations at the speed of 25 miles per hour on land and 3 mph on water. Smash the like button to support our channel and promote the introduction of new vehicles to the fleets of first responders. Let's proceed! Ehang 216F AAV Chinese Ehang is one of the global leaders in the development of autonomous passenger drones. And in 2021, they launched the world's first large payload intelligent aerial firefighting solution. Based on the flagship Ehang 216 AAV, the F version was specifically designed to put down fires in high rise apartment buildings. This electric VTOL has a lightweight composite body and is powered by 16 coaxial dual propellers and motors on 8 voltable arms. The battery is located on the floor, it has outstanding redundancy and allows the motors to generate high power with low noise. The Ehang 216F can stay in the air up to 25 minutes. It develops the maximum speed of 93 miles per hour. This aircraft will autonomously reach hazards, can shoot a high-velocity projectile to break obstacles and will attempt to put down fires with 40 gallons of water carried on board. Big Dog 4x4 by Howe & Howe Technologies Established by twin brothers Geoff and Mike Howe, this main company specializes in building military and civil vehicles for extreme conditions. The new Big Dog represents a new generation of the brand's fire truck, and it is the first one created under the ownership of Textron Systems. This model is advertised as a wildland truck, since it was engineered for the toughest terrains. The Big Dog is fitted with a heavy-duty bumper, winch, skid plates, LED lighting from Wellen, plus different Michelin and Goodyear tires. You can choose between two and four door configurations, both powered by an L9 Cummins diesel with 1000 pound feet and equipped with a premium Darley divorced diesel pump. Finally, it features an elevated crosswalk with workstations and can carry from 30 gallons of foam and either 1250 or 1500 gallons of water. Teradyne Gurkha MPV Based in Ontario, Teradyne has been manufacturing Gurkha tactical armored vehicles since 2011. Their lineup includes four models, all constructed on the Ford F550 chassis. The MPV, or a multi-purpose patrol vehicle, is built exclusively for the government and law enforcement agencies. It has six doors and offers the most spacious cabin among the company's models, seating 12 people. The Gurkha comes powered by 6.7-liter turbo diesel V8 that sends 330 horses and 750 pound-feet to all four wheels through a six-speed automatic gearbox. It is also equipped with a limited-slip differential, four-wheel vented disc braking system with ABS and a 40-gallon fuel tank. 
Lastly, the MPV rides on beadlock wheels wrapped in Afro tires and gets full B7 armoring, which means that it can withstand hits by grenades, mines and 7mm armor-piercing rounds. Unimog U4023 Rescue Vehicle In addition to their primary purposes, the Unimog vehicles are often turned into ultimate expedition motorhomes. However, the versatility of the platform also allows them to be easily transformed into emergency, disaster relief and fire trucks for the off-road destinations. The U4023 model is chosen for these tasks especially often. The vehicle offers 17.7 .7 inches of ground clearance, can ford 47 inch deep waters and has large approach and departure angles, 44 degrees at the front and 51 at the rear axle. Its standard equipment includes torque tube guided portal axles with differential locks, all-wheel drive and a tire pressure monitoring system. This monster is powered by a diesel engine with 231 horses but 664 pound-feet. Its maximum allowed weight reaches 10.3 tons or 22,660 pounds and the top speed is 55 mph on the road. Additionally, the Sunima can be equipped with a heat protection package, sprinklers for the tires and windshield, water tanks and medical electronics. Dodge Charger and Durango Pursuit Dodge has a long history of making specially tweaked vehicles for police and other government agencies. First, the company started manufacturing its Charger sedan in the Pursuit modification, and in 2018 it made its way to the Durango lineup. The duo shares plenty of features, from their steel safety frame construction to the powertrain portfolio. The latter includes a 3.6-liter Pentastar V6 that pairs exclusively with all-wheel drive and a 5.7-liter Hemi V8 that, in case of the Charger, sends 370 horses to the rear wheels. Unique feature for the latter include ballistic door panels and secure park, while the Durango gets dock-friendly 3-zone AC and a special stealth mode. Both pursuits come equipped with HD BR9 brakes, police-specific front seats, vehicle systems interface module and the latest Uconnect infotainment. By the way, we should mention that besides the pursuits, the company also offers special services trims for the Durango SUV and Ram 1500 truck. Geo Rescue Combining years of experience in extreme motorsport vehicles and various custom tailored off roaders, the Romania based Geo Motors developed this purpose built rescue truck. It can be customized for firefighting, medical support, or simply transporting 11 or 20 people through the most demanding terrains. Almost twice the size of the Hummer H1, this 3.2-ton monster comes equipped with heavy-duty transmission, lockable axles, and giant 51-inch tires. The latter can be additionally accessorized with pneumatic pillows to cross rivers or massive tracks to battle snow. The company can fit the truck with a 6-liter LS2 V8 and gasoline or diesel versions. The power output will range from 220 to 500 horsepower. If ordered for combating fires, the rescue will arrive equipped with a 620-liter water tank and a pump system. For the military missions, it can get extra electromagnetic and water protection, as well as a GPS module and other tech. What do you think about the new additions to the fleets of first responders? Will these machines be able to help our heroes save more lives? Let's discuss these questions down below, and we will not mind hearing about your top picks from today's lineup. Subscribe to Automotive Territory, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and watch more content through the links on the screen. May the torque be with you!